Hey guys, it's Jeff Keeley. I am here with Genova Chen at That Game Company. Mm -hmm. It's been five years. Gamers have been waiting for news on what you're doing next. And today on stage with Apple, you announced Project Sky. Looks absolutely incredible. And I think everyone's got tons of questions for you. First question, you said this was a game about giving last year on your blog. What did you mean by that? We've been working on a game that is more on the kind of emotional side of the spectrum. Um, and through each game, we want to explore a new type of experience. Flower, which is a very peaceful game. Journey, it's about people connecting with each other. For Sky, I had some inspiration. The feeling of we are all connected. I think true happiness comes from a person who is generally wanting to help others. And there's a lot of the mechanics of the game involving giving. So it's very difficult to summarize the whole game, but I find that giving is a common uh, element. And, and one of the great things about this game that you know is a big news today is that you're going mobile first with this, which is going to obviously allow even more people to play it because mm -hmm. everyone pretty much has a phone these days. Tell us about that decision to go mobile first with this project. One of the biggest feedback we got from Journey uh, was that a lot of people play the game and they loved it so much they share it with their family and then their wife and their daughter would be like, this is the first game they finished you know, on a console. And the most often thing I heard is, can you make this so I can play with my family together? If we can make a game where gamers would enjoy, but it's so easy and accessible. I often think myself as like a video game evangelist, right? Like want people to love games. So what can I do is to try to make something that could potentially allow us, the game lovers, to share that, share it with other people. So it is kind of a gift, not f from us to the gamers, but from gamers to the people they care and they love. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, when I first played this, you said it's a touch experience, but the f sense of flight is incredible. And this game is set above the clouds. So can you maybe tell us about this world of Project Sky? Uh, all I can say is uh, Sky is a kind of whimsical word above the clouds. There were a huge civilization that existed, but currently in ruin. I want everybody who play this game to find this place and to experience themselves and trying to come up with their own interpretation. I think the simplest way I can put it is we're trying to build a world like a, like a theme park. And you can come experience a little bit of that. Uh, you can also spend a whole, you know, like half day, just explore everything in a kind of traditional video game format. Yeah. Um, but the key is we want to make it a constantly evolving space where things that you experienced before might change and there might be new places open. When you're playing this game, obviously it's something you can probably play by yourself, but it's, it's best when you're playing with other people and sort of sharing the experience. How does that affect the gameplay? The game took us a very long time to uh, figure out. I think that's just what you have to pay for exploring an area that very few other games have been to. Tackling multiplayer dynamics, especially um, at an emotional level, not a mathematical or physical level, it's very unintuitive. If you really think about the player-player the player interaction in Journey, it's very minimal. It's, uh, it's almost like playing one single to uh, tone across the whole melody. But now with many people, we have all kinds of parameters, like the number of players in a scene, the type of mechanics they engage with each other. Are they helping each other? Are they competing with each other? Are they potentially protecting each other? That interpersonal gameplay is now a new element that we could utilize to to add a new feeling of the game. And that's kind of the exciting new frontier for us. And, and I would think, I'd love your thoughts on this, but you know, the other games are sort of a, a driven narrative experience, somewhat linear. I mean, there's lots of opportunities to do other things, but you're sort of going towards you know, an end goal. And it feels like this is the kind of game now in this space where the emotional storytelling can change day to day. I imagine, you know, I can get a notification that like someone just gave me something, head into the game, check this out. So mm -hmm. it can sort of be an evolving narrative too, more so than the other games. And that presents an opportunity too. Yeah, I think if we say Flower was like a, you know, kind of a poetry with yes. seven verse, 
journey is more like a kind of a parable. Mm -hmm. And for Sky, because the, the nature of evolving uh, narrative and the world expanding itself, I think it is more like, to me, uh, uh, almost like a television se series, mm -hmm. right? Each of the seasons, we, we push in something new. Uh, and for the player's experience, they come to experience the new thing, but also the, the entire universe is up for their disposal. Now in the world of mobile, it's also not like the game comes out and you're on to the next project. I imagine this world will sort of continue to, to evolve over time. But yeah, that's why I would really hope that people who loved our games in the past could help us really iterate this game once it's out. Genova, it's so exciting that Project Sky has been announced. I'm sure so many fans are watching this right now. They want to know, you know, when can we get it? How do we find out more information? Uh, what can you tell us about the plan? Well, we're very excited to have our players and fans come to check out the game and provide us feedback. And there's more information available on the website, and please check it out. All right, thatgamecompany.com.